welcome to the exciting a new mini podcast. I'm Jason. I'm Andy. And I'm Ryan. Who's out there? And I'm Anthony. Oh yeah. my god. What's up, Anthony? Way to just How like, are you? jump all over your microphone there as you come in. <laughs> Sorry. Caught you while you were Felt taking like... a sip of your drink there, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Did like you, didn't you, you see Brian's countdown? Didn't you know no, we were coming count in? up? He counted yeah. up. Whatever. <laughs> How's uh, Colorado treating you? Colorado is fine. The weather is um it went from like 90 degrees to like 65 degrees. I was gonna oh, it's getting 65. cold out there yet. Yeah. Well, <sighs> It's, you know, the weather gets wacky out here. Sometimes you get 75 degree days in the middle of February. Yeah. Well, we were down yeah. to like 79 today, I think, or something like that. Yeah, we do that out brutal. here, too. That's comfortable. St- we still get that craziness out here in Jersey, too. Uh, yeah. Warm, uh, warm winters. But uh, what are you up to, Brian? What have you been watching? What have you done? Anything fun? So I watched, I started Foundation. Nice. Season two. Season two. Nice. Okay. Incredible. Se- the season finale is tomorrow night. Yes, yeah, that's why I started. I'm quite erect right now. I cannot <laughs> wait to find out what happened. Anthony, are you watching Foundation? Yes, I am watching Foundation. Okay, are you, love it. Are you caught up to Foundation? I am. Oh, okay. I am. I'm caught up as of what? When was the last episode? Last, well, I guess last Friday. Friday. Yeah, it's a Friday yeah, release yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. I'm very excited so for the good. finale. I'm four episodes in, and it and it's just as good as it was last. It year. It really is. It's yeah. it's so good. The second season. Yeah, I'm very nervous. The funny thing about the first <laughs> season was it, it 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 you have to watch from like episode one because if you watch it halfway in, you'll have no idea what's going on because well, of the, course. the time the time shifting in season. Oh, I one, know. That's it's, great. It's, That's part of yeah. the, the fun of it. But I, I remember know. when this season right. started when they introduced some of the new characters that you didn't know last season. I was like, no, no. Just bring me my old characters from last year. But those new characters are so good this year. So it's all good. Right. And nine episodes in, it stays good. Yes. So you'll enjoy it the rest okay, of the way. Good to know. Good to and know. I can't wait for the finale I haven't tomorrow. I not started it yet, so I'm looking forward to well, getting that. That, that should yeah. be one of your writer strikes. That's definitely going to be And I'm really nervous list, what the writer yeah. strikes going to do to this show because, you know, it, it, if they lose an entire year, some of these people might just get new jobs and go off and. Could you pass me my phone real quick? Oh, of course. The spending phone, <laughs> this folding hand phone. Oh, oh. So yeah, yeah, Foundation's awesome. I agree. I didn't do anything that, except for football on Sunday, which I immediately regretted watching. Um, Same. I watched the Meg Two, the Trench. I think it's oh, called. How was that? Oh, I loved the first Meg. I really did. I thought it was a fun movie. Uh-huh. It was really kind of intense and stupid, but fun. This movie is just stupid and not fun. And it, I mean, it, like oh. halfway through, I was like, do I just keep watching this? And I just kept watching it because Michelle had already fallen asleep. And I'm like, I guess I'm just stuck here. And what a pile of shit that movie was. So terrible and not I would have fun. watched it just to see Jason Statham. And I was looking forward to I, I, I enjoyed I the kind first of one thought, as well. I, I kind of yeah, thought I, like I, I would just watch it because of him, but there's no hot Ruby Rose in it. There's no, there's nothing good about any of the other characters. And ah, it's so dumb and terrible. I hated it. Meg two. Oh, man. Meg two gets a Meg. Meg two. Shut electric up, Meg. And gets a shut up, Meg. The movie we'll shut be doing up, in a couple minutes when uh, every time they said Meg, I was doing it as they're like Meg. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Mari was watching with me last night. She was doing the same thing. <laughs> oh, did you get score from Mari? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry. Anthony, are you watching anything fun? Uh, I'm watching Ahsoka. Oh, I'm okay. enjoying. I'm a few episodes I'm, behind now. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, I all started. Right. I started it. I watched I'm, the I'm first not, one. Right. I'm watching the so I'm enjoying that. that. No, not yeah, yet. I'm not caught up um, either. I'm actually going back now. Um, after Strange New Worlds ended, I'm back. And I've gone all the way back. I'm watching Lower Decks now. I, I think I'm going to have to do that now too. Lower you have Decks, to. It's yeah. it's it's That's the cartoon, there's so right? much. Yeah. yeah, there's so much reference yeah. to the next generation Met, meta space stuff, nine yeah. and voyager and i mean it's so f- and it's hysterical too it's yeah great uh, it's a lot lower of lower decks is one of my favorites and they just came back with another season right did yeah. a new season just drop yeah, I saw? season yeah. four really? i believe wow, i can't believe it's on yet already man jeez that's good for you to watch uh for the, that uh, gives me a writer strike show to watch i'm saying that yeah, like, the, like the writer strike hasn't two. been going on for like six months <laughs> Well, Wait, we're getting 2024 we're getting is what's be... left over we're getting all the stuff that Wait, was like there's a writer strike uh, have you not heard did that information not make it to colorado i was thinking about that as i was watching the uh, actors are on strike too oh, oh the, yeah that too but like the only thing that's yeah, new that i'm cares. watching is uh 
is uh, only murders. And that's at least halfway through. And I'm like, man, after this is over, like there's nothing new to watch. It's already happening. Well, we got I House of the Dragon just for playing, that. right? We'll is that. House, I don't, that. I don't know. When but that I mean, they out. are filming it at least. We know that. That somehow was not affected by the strike. I don't get why British shows are not affected, but I guess the Writers Guild only, or the Actors Guild only affects. I told you I read something. Is it the Actors Guild the or the Actors, Writers Guild? Well, both the of them are on strike. in Britain both can't strike because of something in their contracts that forbids them to, from being able to strike. That's insane. They are, they are forbade. Forboden. Yeah. Forboden. Boden. Uh, Jay, what about you, man? You watch anything? I'm not watching anything. I went to see <laughs> He's con- on purpose. I'm protesting everything. I um, no, I really haven't started anything. Like I tried to go out there and look for something, and I was all over Netflix. I was on Hulu. I was on Max. I was on Paramount Plus. I couldn't find anything, so I just ended up watching like something that you've already seen right, or whatever, right. you know. So um, I have seen a couple of co- uh, comics. Uh, I went to see Tim Dillon at Parks Casino. That was really good. Um, a lot of fun. Uh, I like that venue. Have you you've seen something at the uh, Excite Center there, Parks? Oh, I I saw a Tracy Morgan there. Yeah, it's a really nice venue. I like it there. Yeah. So I'm uh I'm seeing Ari Shafir there next month. So that should be fun. And then on Sunday I saw um, uh, Pete Davidson, John Mulaney, and John Stewart. <laughs> wow. Oh, and Ricky Velez was also there at uh the Hard Rock in uh, Atlantic City. How was that? That was awesome. They all, all four of them were great. Did they I, do it at the same time? Or? No, they didn't come out. I thought they were going to maybe come out together at the end, yeah. but they didn't. They all did each. Uh, uh, Ricky came out and did like maybe 15 minutes. Then everybody did. What would you say about 25, 30 minutes? Yeah, I each. was there also. I was sitting behind Jason. Uh, I'd say like D- Pete Davidson did like maybe 20, 25 minutes and the other, the Johns did like 40 minutes each. I was kind of shocked when we got out of there and it was only 9 30 i was like damn i'm like that was like less than two hours yeah, for but most four comedy comics. shows are usually about two hours though. yeah but for four, for four guys comics, yeah. I, you know and two of them could be headliners for sure so um i'm, I'm still trying to fun. figure out the draw of pete davidson uh, I, there, I there is I, no I draw get it. i don't i mean okay i'm he, not he, talking about the comic draw i'm talking about the women draw yeah, he made me laugh I mean, a couple times I mean, but i mean is, is I he hung like a rhinoceros or something because i have no i don't understand the whole draw that females have to him in Hollywood. I, am I don't. I don't confused get confused as well, and I'm sure everybody that looks at him is confused as well. I would, him, like, I would dap him though. I would give him five, dude. For I, the, I mean, he's good for him though. Yeah, but Pete Davidson's one of those guys that you definitely will not be surprised when he ODs and dies. You'll be like, <laughs> yeah, saw that coming. <laughs> He like just, just he like when out, Chris Farley died, you're uh, like, well, yeah, I saw that coming. He just said he got out of rehab again. Yeah, right? He just yeah. got out of rehab again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> But, but I'll um, say uh, that night, that Mulaney, John Stewart, Pete Davidson night, uh, Mulaney made me laugh the most. You know, he was on fire, told some new stuff, but it was all good. But John Stewart made me laugh the hardest. He told the whole, he's married to a Catholic girl. They have children. So it's raising children, both Jewish and Catholic. And the said, diff- so we have Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and, and so this is what happens at the holidays. And then he goes into like his old man Jew kind of like, but we have the candle that you light. And then the wife is like, but here under the Christmas tree are all the presents <laughs> Every you could ever desire, want. Just, it's like, <laughs> Everything you dreamed of this year. <laughs> you spin this little wooden top and it's got symbols on the side that no one knows what they are. <laughs> but in those socks by the fireplace, you have all the candy and chocolate you could ever want. <laughs> very, I mean, like, I can't tell you how many times I've heard a comedian do what's the difference between Jews and Christians or Hanukkah and Christmas. But somehow John Stewart, uh, he put it. a new spin on yeah. it. it was, I was crying. I was laughing so hard. Uh, yeah, and that was at what? The, oh, the Hard Rock. The hard yeah, Rock, that was, yeah. That was, that's a really good place. That's where I saw Motley Crue yep. and Def Leppard and Hall and & Oates. That's a good venue. I like that venue. Yeah. I've I would, never I'd seen definitely anything there. there. You should go see something there. Yeah. Well, we know you can name all the venues you've seen stuff in because <laughs> on one hand. I can. <laughs> Six Flags Arena, Rochester War Memorial, Six Flags Syracuse Arena. Rochester Coliseum thingamabob. And uh Is it the Carrier Dome? The Tweeter the Center. The the Camden place, yeah. And Carrier yeah. Dome in Syracuse? Syracuse, yeah, it was a big domed uh yeah, the Carrier Dome, right? Oh, is that where the yeah. basketball team plays? Yeah, Sy- I Syracuse thought it was plays, Syracuse right? University. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, yes. At <laughs> yes. the Syracuse basketball team, the University of the Orange Men. That's pretty. Cool, oh, sorry, man. not the Orange Men. Who'd you see that? Orange Billy Joel. Oh, nice. Oh, the one where you sat through it. Yeah, <laughs> I was just listening to that podcast yesterday, and I was like, man, 
guy sounds horrible. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gone anywhere or seen any shows out there? Any shows uh, coming up? I am. In, yeah, I got a couple. I've been. To, I'll be at the end of the year. I'll, I've gone to thirteen shows this year. Nice. What do you see? Were you now? at Red Rocks we recently? Just, Didn't I see pictures we, of you at Red Rocks? Yeah, yeah, we saw Duran Duran, which was nice. amazing. Oh, that'd be awesome. So they're coming. They're going to be in AC like There's, next month, and Michelle and I yeah. are going to go again because they were so much guys. fun. Yeah, we're seeing. I don't know in which order, but we're seeing the Struts uh, at a small theater in downtown Denver in sometime in late October, early November, and then we're seeing Depeche Mode late November. Depeche and then I think that's it. Mode. I think that's it. that'll be the twenty first time I've seen Depeche Mode. Nice. Damn. That is 21 times too many. No, it's 20 times too many. Once is fine. 21 I, times. I've never seen Depeche Mode, no, but I would, I. I would go well, see them. This year was the, you know, during COVID, we had like five shows that were canceled. And, you know, they've all, all those bands have been now re upping yeah. over the past couple of years. This year, we're like, every time we're like, okay, five shows. That are not, okay, six. Okay, so eight. Not it, that, 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 Now it's up to 13. So. I feel we've been dealing just, with that too. Like we've had a lot of shows punted to this year. Yeah, like we you saw. just look at our calendars. We've got a lot of things. We went to a been, lot of yeah. stuff this year, but um, oh wait, Mulaney did a whole thing about that where he was talking about how when he went on tour the first time after COVID, that <laughs> his bus driver that drove him around the country for his tour was hilarious. And I won't tell you any of the stuff that he told because. When we walked out of the show, Logan looked at me and said, oh, yeah, because the boys went with us to the show. Logan looked at me and was like, that is all going to be in his next special. And I was like, oh, yeah, because it was great material. It was but really good. Yeah. He was talking about <laughs> Mulaney was talking about how once COVID ended, in quotation marks, uh, every rock band and country singer and comedian and every everybody just said, going on the road. And <laughs> there was a rush to get a tour bus. Yep. and. He, he was it last. Was hard. It was hard to get it. He it was, was, there, was sh- there was a shortage on tour buses <laughs> and tour bus drivers. <laughs> um, oh, wait. Didn't you? Um, one more show. Oh, oh, there's oh, one oh, other thing. Anthony's got one more show. Oh, what? Sorry. One more show that I forgot about. Porno for Pyros is coming. Oh, okay. That's fine. They're coming to Parks, so be... Parks Casino. Yeah, I thought about yeah, going I haven't to seen them. I haven't seen them since Woodstock. I haven't seen oh, them since Lollapalooza. I was standing next to you at that one. <laughs> I, right there, I went into Lollapalooza. They I were, think it, they maybe. Were, I mean, I Jane's Addiction the, yeah. certainly was at the first yeah. Lala, but Yeah. yeah. Um, didn't you get a uh, book signing? You want to talk oh, about Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, the Sunday, this past Sunday when- uh, We saw Mulaney. And- at, we saw Mulaney and John Stewart and Pete Davidson earlier that morning in the pouring rain. I drove up to Ridgewood, New Jersey, which is about an hour and 15 minutes from my house. Not too shabby. Like that's a drive I'll do. Um, I got Matt McConaughey's book signed. And that was a great a picture, picture with you him. Met Matthew McConaughey, dude. Yeah, yeah. Cool. which was like it sounds cool. It was kind of like they just shuffle you in, and I was. So I think it's cool. I was with about. I actually heard the numbers because I was standing next to a guy that was talking to someone that worked there. So they had seven hundred and fifty books. Signed by him. They have some for sale now on the site. I saw so, that. Yeah. yeah. But so 750. So I just assumed in my head, okay, there's 750 people here getting signings, but people came with their families. So there were, you know, yeah. a, a, a f- more double the people. So 1,500 people say. And I was probably closer to the front of that. But it was pouring rain out Sunday morning. And I was, of the 1,500 people, possibly the only person that had. No hat, poncho, umbrella, <laughs> anything. So I was a sopping unprepared. mess. Oh yeah, I was so unprepared because I was by myself and I'm an old he man. Had, and I was just like, ah. there with him. I would. I needed to be there with him. But Someone needed to instruct. We're gonna me be. Uh, we're gonna meet Tiffany Amber Thies in there, and then we're gonna meet uh, Bob right. Odenkirk there. It's a good. It's a good little Bob it's Odenkirk. A, we're meeting Bob Excellent. Odenkirk there. Yeah. It's a tiny little bookstore in the middle of a little town in North Jersey. That's gonna. I can't wait for Odenkirk, Odenkirk and Kelly Kapowski, dude. Yeah, so when I got my book signed, by, or I got my picture taken with Matt McConaughey, I actually said to him, you don't have to touch me, man. I am sopping wet. <laughs> he was like, thanks for that. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right. And there were, dude, I tell you, there were at least 20 people there wearing all right, all right, all right t-shirts. Oh, there were a couple so people much cooler having the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie that he was in. They yeah, had yeah. those shirts. That's, I was like, that's, that's much that's cooler than that. Cool. Would but, he sign uh, anything else? He no, no, he wasn't right? signing yeah, shit. Right, no, yeah. you they just ushered you in, you got a picture right, taken, yeah. and that was it. And then you got your book on the way out. But uh Christine's brother was in a movie with him. Which movie? The Beach Bum. 
I don't even know that movie. I don't know so that movie. I, it sounds like something Matt McConaughey yeah. should be in, though. <laughs> I think I heard of that movie, but I never. I don't think I've seen it. Yeah. So uh, wait, you, you, your brother-in-law was in a, that movie with yeah, him? Yeah. So like how much of a role? He was a he's a, a, a EMT. So for the fire department. Oh yes, yeah, uh, uh, yes, we've heard this. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Uh, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm just saying you've told the story. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And he, uh, you know, he was. I guess they wanted a real EMT for the movie and they invited him on and uh, Martin Lawrence's char- character got his foot bit off by a shark. <laughs> and so it was this shark <laughs> yeah. oh. So he was in a, a make two. What do you call the things people lie in when they're a stretcher, a stretcher. stretcher. Yeah. And uh, Matthew McConaughey is talking to him all the while. My brother-in-law is like working on <laughs> Did Martin he have any Lawrence. Speaking lines? No speaking oh. roles. No, but, uh, he never told anybody. It wasn't until his uh, my other brother in law's ex girlfriend like called my sister in law and was like, "Was Michael in a movie?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "I don't know." So then they called Michael, and he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I was in." There. So how long is he on screen for? <laughs> like like over a minute? Yeah, it's about a, it's probably about a Did minute. Did he have long. the joint sag? No, no, I don't think nah, so. No, because if he doesn't speak, I don't think you have to, you're yeah, not part too, of the union okay. then and stuff, but that's but awesome. He said Matthew McConaughey didn't really talk to him, but Mar- uh, Martin Lawrence talked to everybody. Like that's he cool. Was, that's, yeah. Well, he's like a stand-up guy, so he probably has that kind of interaction with And people. he's probably just yeah. always like working, uh, working the crowd. Working the crowd, yeah. <laughs> um, did Anthony, you have anything, anything else you watched, Anthony? Or? I'm racking my brain here. No, no it's okay. I, I, had I, just want, I didn't want to cut you off if you had anything else you wanted no, no, to say. No, no, I got one more. Thing. Oh, my I'm God. Good. Brian's got something else. I like that. He's got I his watched, phone bent in half. I, I like, like it. 45 degree angle. I, I love like it. it. I watched Guns Akimbo. What's this? I, I, what this sounds familiar. This? Daniel Radcliffe and uh, oh, okay. Samara right. Weaving. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. What's this on? Um, How did I watch it? I can't remember. Intently. Oh, Prime Video. Okay. And, uh, it was really good. He was great in it. He, play, he played an American too. He didn't even have a British accent. Guns akimbo. But uh, basically, the premise is he pisses off. There's this uh, viral group that they kill each other. They pit people against each other, and then they film it with uh, drones. And he pissed them off. And he woke up, or they kidnapped him. And when he woke up, they had drilled two guns into his hand oh my god and said you're playing now <laughs> and he had to play the top player is it a comedy or is it it's a comedy straight dramedy oh, uh, no yeah drama. it's definitely funny all right oh okay yeah, That's check all, it out. that sounds fun yeah. yeah the only other thing i got on uh, this weekend i'm going to the sun surf sea here concert in asbury park foo fighters who's drumming for them Nice. We were just talking about it upstairs. Someone from Sublime, and uh, he's he's one of these guys that's been around a lot. Uh, so it's Foo Fighters, Weezer, Beach Boys, nice. Breeders. Those are who we're going for, and they wow. play back to back to back. They it's all weekend. It's starting like tomorrow night, but we're only Where going is it again? Sunday. I think at the Asbury. I don't think it's at the um, Stone Pony place that it's we've gone to. It's not that. It's I think, like I think it's. Center. I think it's just on the beach. Like they have a they oh. have it set up on the beach. So I want to see some. Uh, I want to see some photography and some video on that one. That's well, I'll, I'll definitely be filming it. Yeah, when I can get to it. Did we talk about Mr. Bungle? Did we talk about that, that the last, the last show, time? Yeah. Did we? Okay, yeah. yeah, that was fun too. Yeah. No, I went to the. I went to Bungle when he, when they were out here with the Melvins crazy show oh yeah mac wants to go to the melvins yeah, I, yeah melvins I'm are down. great man I'm ever since i saw him with ministry i'm like i'm a i'm a i'm a, I'm a fan now. i've always been man love uh, i know you have i know you have love uh, ministry was I love ministry. Ministry. I don't need to see ministry ever again <laughs> melvins are one of the loudest bands i've ever seen oh my god dude i, mean, I don't usually who's the opener about. ministry or or melvins melvins and ministry is the headliner yeah yeah Ministry now is all it's all noise. It's just all noise. You can't make out like you can't anything that's going on. As he's singing like this. And I've seen and Al it's recently. Screaming is, guitar. I mean, it's we stayed halfway through the show. Three fights broke out, and we're like, all right, we're gone. Let's go. Because we're on the floor. I'm like, yeah, no. That wasn't at the Red Rocks, right? At Red no, Rocks. No, that was at a place called the uh, Summit Music Hall. Okay. I was gonna say, I don't think. I don't last think last time I saw Ministry was on Spreaker, and that's where you can get our podcast. Download, rate, that's subscribe, how we review, do all those fun that's things. The exciting new podcast on all our socials. It's the Jazoo over there on Instagram, Jazoo74 on X. 
<laughs> and no one ever. This has been the uh, exciting new <laughs> mini podcast. I'm Jason. <laughs> oh man, uh, what am I? I'm Andy. A Gonzo one on X. A Gonzo 1970 on the other thing. And Mr. I'm Brian, Papa Bad Kitty. What about you? And I'm sir? Anthony Acoletta Jr. Uh, everywhere.